Amber, thanks. Also, only on Fox, it's been a month since the Lavish Lounge a mass shooting unfolded where two people were killed and multiple others shot. Tonight, this guy was one of those victims and his best friend speaking out about how the community can help him as he has a long road to recovery as well. She tells us about this fundraiser she started and why it means so much to her. Fox Carolina's Brooklyn Cromer has been following this story. So, Brooklyn, what is she telling you tonight about her friend? Well, Nicole Larson says she met Reggie Campbell here at Hillcrest High School. That was 30 years ago, and now they live 3,000 miles apart. But she says when she found out about the shooting, she knew she had to do something to help out. Now, Reggie says he can't publicly comment on the shooting right now, but gave Nicole permission to speak on his behalf. Nicole says Reggie was working at the club the night of the shooting. She says he was shot while trying to protect another person. She says he's still recovering from the physical injuries and mental trauma, and she created a GoFundMe to help out. Physical therapy for quite some time, and at this point, no additional surgeries needed, but unfortunately, um, he is still here healing and, and, and not able to work uh, due to the injury. But then, as in that, I think the I think the injury that's going to take the longest is the, the mental, you know, um, going through something so traumatic. Nicole says Reggie is hardworking and selfless and initially resisted the offer for, fi for financial help. But she says she knows the medical bills are keep coming and he's also out of work. And if you'd like to find out more about the GoFundMe, you can head over to the Fox Carolina As Seen On section on our Fox Carolina app or over at foxcarolina.com. Reporting live in Simpsonville, Brooklyn Cromer, Fox Carolina, the 11 o'clock news.